Alden Frenchies here again today with another YouTube video. We got two of our little puppies. We got Stu and we got Bonnie. They are two different breeds, so we'll get into that here for the video. But before we do, guys, thanks so much for being here with us. And we really love uh, that you guys enjoy our videos here, all about French Bulldogs, French Dens, and just how we raise them, um, our, some of our upcoming litters, and just any information that we can think of on the two breeds. Yeah, good puppies. So we got our two little uh, little stars for the video here. Again, this is Stewie. He is a French Bulldog. And then we have Bonnie, who is a three-quarter French Den. And she is super playful, super plump. So I wanted to show you a couple of differences today in the two different breeds, as well as share a little bit about them. So, Stu is a younger Frenchie than Bonnie. Bonnie is a little bit older. Uh, but she is three-quarter French, and so that means that basically three-quarter of her is a French Bulldog and the other quarter is a Boston Terrier. And then here, uh, this is Stu, who's a full AKC registered French Bulldog, purebred. So why why, why choose a French Bulldog or French Den over a French Bulldog, guys? That's kind of the question of the day. French Bulldog versus French Den. Uh, which one would you choose or which one should you go with? And we're going to talk a little bit about that and use these as examples here. So... Well, again, this is for some people that maybe haven't seen some of our previous videos, but the biggest thing, the two differences, or the biggest differences is the, is the muzzle. So if you look here at Bonnie's muzzle, you're gonna see that it's about an hour and a, or about an inch and a half, two inches from the forehead. If you look at Stu, it's more like a half an inch to three quarter of an inch. So that is the biggest difference, guys. Um, and, and this is a great prime example, um, as a, even as a puppy, to sh show that for you guys. So you can tell the Boston Terrier has a longer snout. The B French Bulldog has the muzzle that's more pushed back. And for a lot of people, they feel more comfortable going with a French Den, which is totally fine. Um, that's why they choose a French Den maybe over a French Bulldog like Stewie, just for the health, breath the breathing issues and such like that. <laughs> We're doing some leash training with Stewie here. Good boy. So yeah, the breathing issues is definitely something. A lot of people, yeah, you get that leash. You know, maybe you don't want some of the snoring and maybe extra noises you're gonna get from a French Bulldog. For me, I personally don't care. I love it. Uh, I love my, love our little puppers snoring in the bed with us. Even when they're just laying down, just snoring. It's it's a good time. But definitely that that's the biggest thing, guys, with the French Den and the French Bulldog. Other things people say is, you know, he, you know, with a, a mixed breed, you're not going to have as many health issues. You know, a French Bulldog with a Boston Terrier um, by, by mixing different breeds. So genetically, they feel that um, that's another reason to go with a French Den. So I want to hear what your guys' reasonings in the comments below. Would you choose a French Den or a French Bulldog? <laughs> your leash came off, buddy. Your leash came off. Yeah, Bonnie, are you playful? He's a little tiny for you. He's a little tiny for you. They love to play. You can say they love to fight. It's all playtime, guys. They love it. They love it, don't ya? Don't ya? Get ya. Good puppies. Good puppies. Super cute, guys. Guys, and these two are still available. I could cannot believe it. I mean, as far as Bonnie goes, she is the perfect French gin. She's got the perfect blue and tan markings on her. So playful, such a sweetheart. And then little Stu here, I mean, he's like a blue merle lilac. I mean, he's just a unique little Frenchie. Uh, gonna be nice and short and compact. And just a nice little guy, aren't ya? You? You're just a little sweetheart. Oh, I know, buddy. Oh, I know. Good Stu. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. If anybody was looking for a French den to breed, uh, I mean, Bonnie would make a great pet as well as any type of breeding female. She's going to be perfect for that. If you want to raise the puppies with her, just because she has the most beautiful markings. And let's say you have a Merle male, then this is the perfect female to breed to if you're looking to have some French Dens and such as well. So yeah, guys, today's video is about French, just the main facts about a French Den versus a French Bulldog. Those are the two main things, you know, their, their muzzle length. And just by breeding two different breeds together, uh, you know, better genetically um, can help with that. So, 
But for me, that those two things don't matter. Um, but that's something that matters to someone, and that's great. So, yeah, everybody say hi. We're gonna go ahead and end the video, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.